In today's video, we'll be rehousing a Fonapelma Calcodes, the new River Russ Rump. Hello everybody, welcome to this latest episode. I am your host Robbie and this is Robbie's Talking Tees. Tarantula content for tarantula lovers just like yourselves. In today's video, I'm gonna be rehousing my female Aphonopelma Calcodes New River Rust Rump, which I picked up at the Brighton Invert Show. But before I show you that rehouse, smash that like button, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Show you that rehousing. So here we go, we are going to be rehousing this gorgeous Aphonopelma Calcodes New River Rust Rump. I picked this one up at the Brighton show and as you can see this is a female. I'm going to be rehousing it into this 30 by 30 by 30 Exoterra and as you can see I have set this up with sort of a, a deserty feel feel to it. Um, it has got normal substrate in the bottom so if it burrows it can dig into that but just for the aesthetic I've filled it with sand. It has got a cork bark hide and some other places to hide in here as well as some dry moss in the back and a water dish. So this setup it should be perfectly happy in and I think it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. Now I do have the Aphonopelma Calcodes, the Desert Blonde, but I haven't got it set up in a desert looking enclosure. So maybe, because I do like the look of this, I'll do a future video of rehousing that female into a similar sort of setup. But, let's get this girl into here. So here we have it, a Fonapelma Calcodes, the new River Russ Rump. This is one of the color variations. You do have the Desert Blonde and also the Flagstaff Orange. As you can see with this little girl, she does have the orange coloration in the legs, whereas the Desert Blonde lives up to its name. It's more of a, a blonde color and that's what separates the two and why they're named differently. Now, Aphonopelma calcodes is a new world terrestrial species. Does live in dry conditions, which is why we're only giving this a water dish. Now, Aphonopelma calcodes are thought to be the largest of the Aphonopelma species. Once this girl is fully grown, she will have an 18 centimeter, round about five inches diagonal leg span. Now as slings, I would keep these on moist substrate, feeding them every other day. And I'd keep them anywhere around 24 degrees during the day and dropping it down to about 18 at night now where these guys come from at night the temperatures do drop down really low so these are a very very hardy tolerant species they're also considered to be a great beginner species because they are very docile. But if you watched my Aphonopelma Hensi video, you'll see that you do get some that even though most people say they're docile, they're actually quite defensive. So hopefully this girl doesn't give me any trouble. Now at this size, I feed these once a week. A large Jubia, that's why she's got a nice big fat booty going into the new enclosure and she does just fine on that. 
let's get her in her new enclosure and tell you some more about her. So like I said, this species does like it on the drier side. She's just being very cautious after doing that NC video. I know that once they've been in these tubs for a little while, they do get a little bit flighty and a little bit defensive. So I'm just gonna let her do her own thing and get into the new enclosure without without disturbing her too much. Go on girl, you can just wanna go. There you go, nice and calmly. Now this is a very, very slow growing species. So if you're new in the hobby and you decide to pick this one up as your first tarantula, be aware that it's gonna take a few years for it to put on any decent size until it gets to this size is going to be quite a while but as you can see once it does start putting on some size it is absolutely gorgeous coloration of these is what drew it to me when I was at the Brighton show lifespan wise a Fonapelmas are known to live you know in excess of 20 years they're a very long lived species so be prepared once you pick one up that you are going to have it for a very long time males on the other hand have got a much shorter life expectancy I'm only expecting a male to live between 4 and 5 years and it doesn't take them long to reach maturity so there she is all nicely rehoused and exploring her new enclosure hopefully she'll be really happy in here so let's do a quick recap on Aphonopelma calcodes so Aphonopelma calcodes is a new world terrestrial species they like it dry they do like to burrow leg span wise this female will get to about 18 centimeters in diagonal leg span slings and juveniles i feed every other day adults i feed once a week they don't require any extra humidity in the enclosure just a simple water dish will do these are a great beginner species as they do have a good temperament but be aware that some may differ and may be defensive I'm lucky that this girl is actually really well behaved lifespan wise females do live in excess of 20 years and males are given a much shorter lifespan of about five to six years I'm gonna say they do mature and put on size really quickly when they're males and the females take a lot, lot longer. It's just how a Fonapelma are. Get, get down off the glass. As you can see, this girl is really enjoying exploring her enclosure. She's been cooped up inside that container all the way home from the Bright and Invert show and she's just enjoying stretching her legs in her new home. Now the substrate I have used in the enclosure is a mixture of topsoil, cocoa fiber, vermiculite and in this particular enclosure I have added a layer of sand on the top just, just because she's a, a desert species i wanted her to feel more at home inside this enclosure and i think it looks quite nice it looks quite pleasing on the eye i'll show he show you how it looks on the uh shelving unit with all the lights on it in just a minute so there's the enclosure on the shelves i've set it as a nice sort of evening look a nice low light so she'll sit there 
and she'll make herself at home in the enclosure. I think it looks nice as a as a desert setup. Let me know what you think in the comments on the new enclosure. And do you think that I should do another video of the desert blondery housing? But I'm gonna end the video here. That's awesome. So there you have it, a really smooth rehousing of an absolutely stunning species. Now this is the end of the video, but before we go, I want to take the time to remind you guys about the 2,000 subscriber giveaway we're doing on the channel. The 2,000 subscribers, I'll be giving one of you the chance to win a T. Celadonia. To have a chance of winning, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, go over and watch my Grammar Stola Rosea video, and just write T. Celadonia in the comments. Once you've done that, you'll be entered, and I'll be doing the draw as soon as we hit that 2K mark. Now I've said all that, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you're looking forward to the next one, see you then, take care.